Witness of woman who just accused Trump of groping has one major issue that makes her story impossible to verify. Perhaps the best way to preface this latest claim made yet again by another accuser regarding President Trump and sexual misconduct is first to define the term eyewitness which is a person who has personally seen something happen and so can give a first-hand description of it. This brings us to Melinda McGillivray the newest, and perhaps dumbest, accuser to come forward against Trump claiming that the commander-in-chief groped her in front of none other than Ray Charles. For those not familiar with the late great jazz singer, Ray Charles was completely blind at an early age, thus the reason why McGillivray is perhaps not very bright. McGillivray appearing on NBC's Medjin Today with host Medjin Kelly, another woman who's made a career out of bashing Trump, alleges the president grabbed her, however at the time she wasn't exactly sure if it was Trump. It could have been her friend or perhaps a camera bag brushing up against her. Moreover, the Hollywood Reporter chronicled the incident as described by McGillivray stating she was standing in half moon shape line along with Regis and Joy Philbin, her photographer friend Ken Davidoff and Trump and Melania, with Ray Charles standing in front of them. The next thing I know, I feel a grab on my right side. I initially think this is probably Ken's camera bag, but to my surprise, it's Donald. She said on Mejan Kelly today. He's standing a foot and a half away from me, so he had to reach out and touch me. I look at his face and he's looking stone cold at Ray Charles. I stand there and I'm stunned. I don't even know what to do with myself in that moment. Aside from the fact there were four other people besides Trump and McGillivray who were backstage at a Ray Charles concert back in 2003, and no one witnessed the groping incident. The obvious question once again why now? McGillivray, of course, is calling for an ethics investigation into President Trump, on an incident that took place almost 15 years ago and she obviously can't prove. Moreover when it comes to ethics, perhaps McGillivray might want to forget her own sordid past which reportedly includes, a few DUIs and child neglect. 